What is going on guys, Louie here from the Toxic Dragon and Toxic Gaming channels, and today I do have a special guest, his name is Brandon from Brandon Tube. say hi Brandon. Hey guys, I am Brandon from Brandon Tube, and I will pr promote this guy's channel right here, Louie's channel. Yeah. Okay, so um, today we will be talking about the new teaser image that Scott posted on his website. Uh, about two hours ago, depending on when you're watching this video, but when I post it, it will be about two hours ago, and, um, let's just say it's, it's amazing. One of the scariest. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, as you remember from my last video, if you did watch it, um, you saw how we thought me and Ethan had a theory on this on the purple hat and tie and th in this picture it does not show the purple hat sadly but it does show the purple tie and if you'll notice in the mouth area there is a wetness so this animatronic of some sort will be very creepy because it looks alive and in the last video there was a mouth near the hat and this looks exactly like the thing so apparently this is Fredbear and he he just looks awesome yeah okay so getting on to that point um so last video again Ethan he said I said that it could be Nightmare Chica but Ethan agreed with me but he also said it could be a new animatronic like the mystery animatronic of Freddy's 3 aka Springtrap and it seems like that it's the exact same thing for uh Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Exactly. So, uh, this is really interesting. Um, just in a second. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, um, to, well. If you'll notice near the bottom mouth area, not the top mouth area, but in fact the chest area where the waist connects, you will see a little face. It kind of looks like a little Steve. And if we zoom in real quick. Can you zoom in? It's, I'm not recording. Oh, okay, I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's fine. He, he's never been on one of my videos before. He doesn't know how, how I record and stuff. But um, what he was saying is, you know how it looks like... Is it recording? Was, yes, it's recording. It's just recording audio. Uh, uh, okay, so um, if you look at the bottom mouth area, you know how there's teeth on the top and there's teeth on the bottom? Well, we're looking at the teeth on the bottom now. And um, you'll notice a face that kind of looks like Steve... And if, it, if you zoom in on it, if you get the picture and zoom in on it, it will look like either a child, the marionette, or the crying child from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And, um, uh, not many people know what Steve is, but he's pretty much like, a. well, he looks more like Hero Brian, in my opinion. My, my opinion, and, um, so pretty much he is this nice little ghost hobo guy, and, um, He'll walk around your world and he'll destroy everything. He'll grief you, stuff like that. But um, also looking down there, you'll see Freddy's hat right in the middle. I'm drawing a circle around it right now. You can't see it, but it's there. Well, I can't see it, but it's there. And um, here's what I think. I think that this animatronic is Fredbear. And um, I think that... See that little, that little area where... It, it looks like teeth. I think those are almost, it's almost like a prison. Like, the hat, he's, con Fredbear, he is, he is in absolute control of all the animatronic. He's in absolute control of, he's, every animatronic. Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, even the marionette. Even though we thought the marionette, um, was a, uh, was in control of everyone, but it looks like that Fredbear is in control, and it looks like these teeth are almost, what could you say, like, um, bars. Yeah, they're like bars trapping these animatronics in and making it look like that. Um, another thing you'll notice if you zoom in and light up the picture, it says pro and me. If you see another picture, it says property, it says pro, property, 
of, of, and then, er. So, the only thing that could fit into that is property of Fred Bear's Diner. And right here it says pro and me, and so it would say property of me. So apparently, Louis is right. He is the absolute ruler of all of the animatronics. Um, okay, so a couple more things to say here. So, um, in the top left corner, it says, I forgot what it says. It says, or something. Um, it, it says, or was it me? Or, or was it me? That's right. Let me zoom in, in here. Top, on the top left, right, no, left, left corner. How do I go right there? there? Right there. It says, or, wa, and you can't see the me, but apparently it says, or was it me? Yeah. And the mm -hmm. or is pretty, you can see it really well. Yes, and um, another thing is, oh yeah, so, see, if you look at the tie and you look at the shading, if, sorry, if you look at the shading of the tie here, you you'll will see, see that on the left side, it's like a tinted blue and on the right side it's a tinted red kind of looks like a police siren what it's saying is the blue is bonnie the red signals foxy so i'm pretty sure fred bear is the one with the bite of 87 bonnie and foxy are innocent but from what we've pieced together we think bonnie and foxy are actually real nightmare versions of course um, I actually think that all the animatronics are real, and, um, I think that where Fred Bear got his tie from is, um, I think he used to have an old tie, but since he's old and he's worn down that he lost his hat and tie, and so after the pink man, not the pink man, sorry, the purple man was killed, he took up his hat and tie, or another possibility is that he killed the pink man and he took his hat and tie. No one really knows, but um, what this is saying, the red and the blue, it's saying that, um, it's saying that they could be all on the stage together, with Freddy in the middle, Fred Bear in the middle, and so, I think this kind of means that they're all on their horrible stage together as one, and um, I think... This is kind of just a little add-on, but I do believe that Scott, his idea behind this is kind of how it was in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, how it's a horror attraction. I think that after Fred Bear's Diner went down, I think that the people who own Fred, Bear, Fred Bear's Diner decided to take the animatronics and destroy them and make them all messed up, and then almost as a haunted house, as you could say. And... Another, this is pretty possible. Go ahead. Another thing you'll notice is that the buttons have four dot oh four holes in them, and if you compare it to a picture of the marionette, it has the same exact buttons except three of them, and they're white. Yes. Um. So I think that I think that it is very possible that this is a horror attraction just like in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 or a haunted house or something like that especially since this game is being released on 10-31-15 aka Halloween for all you Merkins and so um yeah is that the end of this video I believe so I don't think so you don't a little add on to this this would definitely not be an attraction for kids I mean look at those teeth those are razor sharp and I don't know how he got those teeth in the first place but apparently Fred Bear's Diner was an attraction for kids in the first place. A diner, of course. I don't know if his teeth were that sharp, uh, because cre kids would be creeped out if they're, if that really was. Yeah, but you can't really see three sets of teeth right there. But Chica does have three sets of teeth, and I really don't know why. Yeah, um, so here's another way that... So, some might say that they just closed down because they screwed up in financials or whatever, but it's a possibility that these animatronics were like this from the beginning, and so they scared all the kids away, and so they didn't make any money, and they tried to fix them, but they just didn't have enough time, and they were out, so they decided to make the haunted house or wherever, whatever, so, um, yeah. 
I guess that will be the end of our video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't. Here is our awesome outro. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.